coral reef ecosystem plays an important role to our environment. It harbors various forms of life and thus enrich our environment and it is really helpful for our environment to sustain. Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern, I am Animesh and in this video I am going to discuss about coral polyp, the structure of coral polyp and how coral polyps synthesize the coral. So let's jump into the topic. First of thing, uh, coral polyps are classified or classified into Nidaria. Okay. So corals is basically a calcareous structure and made up of calcium carbonate. So the basic unit of coral is calcium carbonate and it is solidified in the water and ultimately forms the coral and now the structure of coral polyp so this is the structure of coral polyp here as you observe uh, there is a base which attaches a substratum a substratum basically refers a particular uh, solid surface so substratum substratum refers to solid surface solid surface inside inside any water body okay so the substratum is refers for solid surface inside any water body so this base is attached with this substratum that is the uh, uh, solid surface that is present inside the water body and the next uh, next thing is that stomodium stomodium is a hollow space so basically stomodium is a hollow space hollow space inside of that particular coral polyp next we observe here a mouth and also tentacles okay so these are the structure of coral polyps and if we enlarge the structure a particular structure of the stomodium then we observe this kind of structure here ectoderm is outside and this is the endoderm okay so this is the endoderm right this is the mesoglia and here a present of zooxanthellin that's it uh, zooxanthellin basically a uh, algae so zooxanthellin basically a uh, algae so this algae helps uh, to the photosynthesis of the particular coral polyp and therefore the sustainability of that coral polyp uh, depends upon then this particular algae is known as zooxanthellin so here stomodium is a hollow space so how this coral forming polyps synthesize or secretes the coral or calcium carbonate that makes a particular coral so here is the structure or here is the chemical reaction that is uh, uh, tells us briefly that the formation of coral okay so whenever water rushes to the stomodium so whenever water rushes to the stomodium that is the inside hollow cavity the hollow cavity hollow cavity of coral forming polyps then calciums that is already present inside of the particular water this calcium gets into the endoderm so the calcium gets into the endoderm and where this calcium attach with particular a substance known as glycan and those glycans are produced by this particular algae known as zooxanthellae because whenever a zooxanthellae reacts with ca carbon dioxide that is the co2 then the zooxanthellae produces this glycan okay and this glycan binds with this particular calcium and helps that particular calcium to uh, <coughs> transport from endoderm to ex uh, ectoderm okay so this is the structure of ectoderm okay so this is this glycan helps calcium ions uh, for transportation from endoderm to ectoderm 
and here glycans are released from calcium ions okay so glycans are released from calcium ions and then this calcium ions binds with bicarbonate ion and produces calcium bicarbonate and after that it forms calcium carbonate which is the main form that deposit to the environment okay and again this co2 here we um, got a co2 this co2 recycles and this co2 comes ectoderm to endoderm and reacts with zooxanthellae that is the algae and produces another glycan okay another glycan so basically glycan is made up of glycan is made when co2 when CO2 reacts with zooxanthellin, okay, zooxanthellin. So specifically, when this algae reacts with CO2, they produces the particular unit that is known as glycan, and this glycan helps calcium ions uh, to transport from endoderm to ectoderm, and after that, these cycles continues, and the amount of deposition are getting much and much higher. So in this process this calcium carbonate deposit in, uh, into the environment and ultimately we saw a structure that is known as coralite okay so these are the structures of coralite so basically one coralite is the structure this is the cup like structure where we observe various kind of structure so uh, coral forming polyps are creates a specific structure that is known as epitheca and hypotheca. So epitheca and hypotheca both are uh, jointly produces theca. So what does the theca? Theca is a structure that is made up of calcium carbonate. So when these coral forming polyps, so these coral forming polyps are inside of this theca structure or epitheca or hypotheca then they secretes the structure uh, calcium carbonate and these calcium carbonates are deposited outside of this coral forming polyp and it basi basically uh, produces a calcium carbonate structure and it basically resides in this theca structure and whenever this structure is fulfilled then the coral polyp uh, just rise above and whenever is rise above so in second term the whenever they rise up there is a free space produced and this free space is utilized to deposit more and more calcium carbonates so th this is the structure of this particular coral where we observed a central spoke that is known as columella and there is several uh, blade like structures known as sclerosepta so basically these are the calcium carbonate layers this is, this is the produced by this coral forming polyps okay so sclerosepta are produces by uh, coral forming polyps and these kinds of structures are produced by coral forming polyps so whenever it fills the thicker membrane then the coral forming polyp rise above and whenever they rise above they are creating a space in below them so basically in the free space more and more calcium carbonates are deposited and in this phase uh, a coralite specifically a single unit is produced and whenever numerous produce uh, coralite are produced then uh, this structure is known as coralum okay so 8 to 10 units of coralite made a single coralum okay made a single coralum so this is the basic structure of corals and this is the chemical reaction for the formation of calcium carbonate so here another important characteristics are also uh, observed or another properties is also essential to forming this calcium carbonate structure or coralite structure so this properties is known as physico chemical properties of coral formation so what are the physico chemical properties of coral formation first there is specific salinity so uh, the specific salinity should be 32 to 35 ppm where the salinity is uh, moderate but not high not lower temperature um, 22 to 26 degrees celsius or centigrade temperature is essential for forming a particular coralite because in this uh, temperature coral forming polyps are acting uh, 
vigorously and if the temperature rises the coral forming polyp does not perform its function so the coral does not form so a specific temperature is essential for the formation of particular coralite or coralum next one is the illuminated by sunlight so there is a proper sunlight presence uh, the sunlight is very much essential because this zooxanthellae uh, produces its food by photosynthesis okay photosynthesis and we know that photosynthesis requires the sunlight or photon that is why sunlight is very much essential for these coral forming polyps to survive in this water next one is the presence of algae of course zooxanthellae is a uh, most important thing or most important algae if there is no zooxanthellae then the coral does not form next one is the presence of substratum yes our solid structure behind uh, below the water is present next one is the less humidity and less water so these are the all parameters that is help uh, to formation of coral if you like that video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching